Many beg the question, is traveling a hobby? Why, yes it is. So thank you guys for coming to my video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share this video with friends, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, maybe that video was too short. Let's dig a little deeper into the question, is traveling a hobby? So I've seen a lot of people say that traveling isn't a hobby. I can kind of see where they're coming from because if, when someone says, I like to travel, that is a super vague statement. That is a very broad question because there is so much that goes into traveling and there's so many sub hobbies that go into traveling because if traveling is a hobby, but you also like to hike, so is it hobby sub hobby or just hobby hobby? You know what I'm saying? They just go hand in hand together. From my perspective, I'm going to say yes, traveling is a hobby because the definition of a hobby is something that you do in your leisure time on a regular basis. And traveling doesn't necessarily mean you had to spend $1,500 on a plane ticket to fly across the world to Singapore. Because I live in San Antonio, traveling for me could be going up to Austin or Houston or Dallas, which is only a few hour drive away, staying a couple nights, doing some sightseeing, maybe go on some adventures and coming back. There's nothing stopping me from doing that every single weekend. I consider that a regular basis. And I'd also consider traveling a productive use of time and money. You're learning a new skill, you're de-stressing, you're having a fun time, you can potentially meet a lot of new people. And traveling has all of that on top of giving you life experience that not a lot of people have on the grand scheme of things. But let's look at the question from the point of view of someone that says it's not a hobby. A lot of the times when I talk to people like that, that hold that opinion, it's because in their experience, the people that say that traveling is a hobby and that they travel as a hobby are the type of people that on Tinder be like, I love going on adventures, I love Netflix, I probably love my dogs more than you. Super basic, not really deep personality type people. And a lot of the times, even in my experience, talking to people that have had similar outlooks like that, I'll ask them about their travels and then come to find out they haven't really ever been anywhere. Traveling for them is, you know, maybe going a few hours or a couple states away, going to the same beach every year and calling it good. Which I mean, that's perfectly fine. If that's what you're into, that, you know, technically that is traveling. But something like that, I wouldn't consider that a hobby. I'd consider that more of a yearly vacation. So I can definitely see where they're coming from saying that that isn't a hobby because it, it's not. It's just, you know, it's no different than going to the grocery store. Just something that you do. Now, if on top of going to that same place every single year and getting that ex same experience every single year, if you also mix in different trips to different states or maybe even different countries or, or you try to at least do different things if you do go to the same place every time, then I'd consider that a hobby because you're actively doing something new. You're pushing the boundaries of that hobby hobby and you're gaining new experiences. For example, let's say one of your hobbies is sewing. Sewing is absolutely a hobby, 100%. But if you start with a basic sewing machine from Walmart and basic fabric that you find the next aisle over and you go home and let's say you make a simple pouch or a purse or like a little coin purse or something. Yeah, that's a great starter project. Let's say you make that same little pouch over and over and over again on the same sewing machine, the same fabric, the same design, same everything, over and over and over again. I wouldn't consider that a hobby anymore. I consider that you trying to start a business selling coin purses and borderline, that's a job. But if you try new techniques, if you try to make new things, let's say you upgrade to, you know, satchels or backpacks or you start making like clothes, eventually you upgrade your thread type, you upgrade the quality of the products that you're using, you upgrade the sewing machine and you start doing more advanced things with that sewing machine. Now you're challenging yourself. Now you're pushing the boundaries of that hobby. Hobby. And you're not doing it because you're trying to produce a product to sell. You're doing it because you enjoy it. You enjoy pushing yourself further. You enjoy learning new techniques and mastering your skills. And now that is something that's done for leisure. And, that's, and those same principles can be applied to traveling. If you're going to the same place every single time, doing the same thing every single time, getting the same experience, every single time, then that's not really a, a hobby, in my opinion. You know, but if that's, if all, if that's, all you want out of it, then that's perfectly fine. If all you want to do is sew coin purses and go to the same beach every year, then I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I just don't think it meets the definition of a hobby. But bottom line, overall, traveling as a concept is a hobby. Let me know if you disagree. I think it makes for a good conversation. So uh, go ahead, leave a comment. And while you're down there, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notifications whenever I upload as well as leaving a like and sharing this video with friends so that they can spark some ideas and maybe you guys can have conversation as well. And with that being said, thank you guys for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>